welcome so this is a continuation of previous lectures of circular motion so today we are going to deal with objected extended object circular motion so what we mean by extend object is that it has some finite length or some finite uh, like two dimensional object it may be a three dimensional object or it may be a one dimensional object which has a finite length and some finite mass a distribution may be different a distribution may be linear or nonlinear so uh, what you should consider in these types of that is consider motion of center of mass of that object consider motion of center of mass and then apply all forces directly at the center of mass so this is a thing which which you have to consider that first you have to find the center of mass of that object and then apply all the forces that you know directly at the center of mass so suppose there is a one rod and one point is fixed so let me consider that is the fixed axis about which the rod is moving and there is some rod of finite length let's say its length is l its length is l and the center of mass if it is a uh, linear then the center of mass will be at l by 2 this is l by 2 and this point is as the center of mass and it is rotating with some angular velocity omega and this is the point of hinge let's say this is o okay and there is some force that is given by hand so there is some force by hand so this is a situation some force by hand you are giving to any rod that is of length l then this situation is identical or similar to that there in an object of this mass m let's say object of mass m that is and there is a fixed axis which is the mass is at distance of l by 2 and now it is rotating in a circular motion so these two are identical and its velocity the angular velocity is omega so that is a let's say that there is a f force <coughs> net towards the center then f is a net force towards the center f is net force towards the center and you know that is the applied force so this is also equal to applied force force at one end by hand okay so that was the problem let if someone ask this following question what force is required to rotate the rod shown in figure so if this is a problem that you has asked what force is required so you just write the radial equation as always in the previous lectures you have seen the so radial equation is radial force time m times the radial acceleration so the radial force is nothing but force applied and that is equal to m a is omega square that is l by 2 then the force applied should be m omega square l by 2 so that is the force that is required to rotate this extended object okay with velo angular velocity omega about its the the given axis so that was the thing that you have consider about the extended object circular motion so first you have to consider the motion of center of mass and then apply the all forces directly at center of mass so uh, using this formula or using this concept let us see one one problem here 
so this is the problem uh, what is the tension in either rope or rod in distance x from the fixed end so this is the following problem let's say uh, there is a you have a rod of length l okay so you have a rod of length say it is length l and this is the fixed end given let me draw it clearly so this is the rod of length l so you have to find there is a with, with distance x from the section let's say at this point what is the tension in this rope or whether it is it will be a string whatever it is so you have to find the tension <coughs> in that string at this point x okay so this problem is similar to the previous problem so let's break the problem in this way so suppose there is a rod so this length is basically x you know in given problem uh, i am separating these two but there will be a, this distance is equal to zero just to show you that there uh, there is a tension acting so a tension t is acting in this way a tension t is acting here at distance x okay so just to show that i break this row and so the this distance will be l minus x okay so and their center of mass its center of mass is here and its center of mass is here then the center of mass distance of this object this distance will be x plus l minus x by 2 because this distance is l minus x by 2 so this is l plus x by 2 okay let's say this distance is equal to some finite some distance r so at this point let's call is at a a is at l plus x by 2 distance from the end so there is no other force acting the inward the radial force the, let's write the radial equation of motion m a r so f r is nothing but tension t that is m omega square that is l plus x by 2 remember what this m is let's the total mass of this object be capital m that is capital m and this is of small m so the small m will be equal to capital m by l that is a mass per unit length and its length is l minus x so this m will be m by l l minus x so the total tension at that point will be capital m l minus x by l into omega square l plus x by 2 which is nothing but m omega square by 2 l l square minus x square so this is the answer Thank you.